Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, the United City FM. Why the United City FM? Well, I'll cover that plus a load more stuff in this video, so I hope you'll stick around. So my name's Kev, I live with my wife and my little puppy down on the south coast of England. Um, I've got two stepchildren and they're fully grown ups now and they've got their own families who all live nearby, which is great, ever expanding family. Um, I love football. I've always loved watching football. My playing career is non-existent though. I was born with a condition called spina bifida which means that my mobility isn't particularly great. It affects me in a number of different ways as well but it just meant that uh, my football career never really got started even though I would love to have been running down the wing for some brilliant high amazing team in the Premier League and playing for England etc like every other boy would have liked but yeah it just didn't happen that way. I did play a lot of disability sport though. I, I uh, did an awful, awful lot of stuff in, in that regard. Primarily though it ended up with me playing with wheelchair basketball quite a bit I got to a quite a high standard ask me about that at some point point I'll tell you um, and in the end I started coaching as well I, I did some coaching of wheelchair basketball before um, deciding to give it up currently my main activity um, outside of football manager which we'll get on to and and my YouTube channel is I, I like to sing so I'm, I'm part of a group that, that does that and again I'll talk to you about that at another point I'm sure over the coming months but yeah very simply that's me um, I, I leave a, lead a, a fairly simple existence really, but um, all of it is uh, really, really good. Well, I guess like most people, I want to make millions and millions of pounds and pay off my mortgage so my wife doesn't have to feel that pressure all on her shoulders and, you know, buy everybody a house that I know and make everybody happy, isn't that? Mm, yeah, okay, fair enough. It's pr probably not... Um, particularly going to happen is it but um, I guess why did I do YouTube I kind of did it with two thoughts in mind really one um, I have an awful lot of time on my hands part of being disabled as I am means that um, uh, my health doesn't make me reliable enough to hold down a full-time job I've never really been able to do it um, so my wife goes to work every day and that leaves me at home on my own pretty much most of the time to do something with and for a long periods of time I, I haven't really done that I've just you know faffed about a bit and played the likes of football manager I've been playing football manager since championship manager the very first game came out I've been playing it a long time now and it's really helped me to sort of fill my time a little bit here and there with a few hours to spare it gives me something to think about and focus on and challenge myself with even if it's just a computer game it, it's been quite important to just keeping me sane I guess over the years with all of the time that I have to spare um, but I just felt like there was um, something that I needed to do that was going to be a bit more of a project, something to sink my teeth into. A couple of years ago, I spotted that there were football manager content creators on YouTube, the likes of Loki Doki and Dr. Benji FM, uh, Lelujo and uh, Work the Space were sort of my intro into football manager content creation on YouTube. I've since watched loads and loads of others as well, but that was my kind of that my route into it originally and having caught up on all of their stuff over the year the last couple of years should I say it's made me really um, ask the question whether I wanted to do it myself whether I could do it myself I, I came to the conclusion that I had the passion for football and for the game itself I love football manager as a game I'm slightly addicted let's be honest um, but yeah I, I had that passion for the game I also had the desire to give myself a project find something to do fill my time with something a bit more worthwhile than just me entertaining myself maybe I could find a way to entertain others so I decided to give YouTube a go and um, see where it took me I, I had no expectation about where that would take me um, but it was vitally important and the reason that I did it ultimately was just to uh, f I find a project something that I could sink my teeth into and and, and fulfill something in me uh, a need to sort of do something better than what I was and I guess like most other people if I could create a bit of a, an income from it and a bit of finance from it then you know that would be amazing in itself I'm on the benefit system I don't have a lot of money uh, my wife works as I say we, we do okay financially but you know can I contribute can I find a way to provide myself a, a small amount of money every so often for something that I'm doing uh, and would that build up my self-worth a little bit my yeah my self-worth and I think it has just starting to do the channel has done that 
but um, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll cover that in more detail, I guess, over the coming months, etc., as, as the channel hopefully continues to grow. But those are the reasons why I decided to do YouTube, and so far it, it's been quiet, let's say. Well, to be perfectly frank, it's been really quiet. Um, I spent uh, the first six months getting minimal views. There were loads of my videos that weren't being seen by anybody. It did pick up after about six months. Uh, people began to find my content a little bit, but it was still in very small amounts. And by my one year anniversary, which was about three weeks ago, I had uh, 38 subscribers. Brilliant. The 38 uh, originals, as we'll call them, um, from this point onwards. Who, who helped to, you know, just make me see that somebody was watching, which is brilliant. And alongside a load of visitors to my channel, they managed to amount to about a thousand views in total for the first year, uh, about 81 hours of viewed content, which is quite small, really. And I watched so many other channels start in and around the same sort of time as me and grow much quicker than that. And I couldn't really figure out why. It was quite frustrating at times, but it didn't stop the, the original thought as to why I was doing YouTube and just wanting to fulfill something in myself. So I was still happily plodding along, making my content, trying to make it better, improving bits as I could go. Um, and yeah, just generally enjoying the process, but being a little bit frustrated by the, the lack of numbers a little bit. Um, and then about three weeks ago, just before that uh, one year anniversary, I had what I called a, a zero view day. It was a, a 24 hour period where literally nobody watched any of my content and it hadn't happened for a few weeks um, since Football Manager 2020 came out. My, my numbers had increased slightly and so I wasn't quite at the, the point of having a zero view day uh, much from that point onwards and then I, I got one in um, January time sometime, I can't remember exactly when it was. So I wrote on my Twitter feed um, to other content creators, how do you cope with a zero view day? Because it's frustrating and challenging. It doesn't make me want to stop, but it just makes me, you know, frustrated. Um, and I got some great response. I had a, an interesting conversation with a couple of people on there about it. Um, and as part of that conversation, one of them was asking a question in themselves. And uh, I knew that Loki Doki had provided some content on it. So I happened to mention his name and attach his name to the tweet. Um, which meant that Loki Doki was then aware of what was going on in the conversation about my zero view days. Now, my zero view days was a real low point, but in actual fact, like a lot of things that happen in life really, it turned into something pretty amazing. So Loki Doki now knows that I'm getting a zero view day, that I've got a bit of frustration because my channel isn't growing. So unbeknownst to me, he took it upon himself to go and have a look at my channel. Apparently he does this quite a lot for lots of up and coming YouTubers and then offers some advice as to what they could improve, etc. Now he'll tell you, and he did tell you, if you've seen the video that he's since created that we'll get onto in a second, but he'll tell you that there's some stuff on my channel and in my videos that I could certainly improve, absolutely, but it wasn't that bad. And he was scratching his head a little bit himself to figure out why I was so low on the list of subscribers, etc., compared to some others that are around. Um, and so rather than just tweeting out to his followers, you know, this is a good channel, go check it out, or, you know, putting a, a mention of me in one of his Twitch streams or something briefly, he then created this 20 odd minute video about the, the, um, curious case of the United City FM and why is this channel not getting views and subscribers and, and what's gone wrong here because the content whilst could be improved isn't bad and he put this out on his YouTube channel um, for his 50 odd thousand 60 thousand subscribers or whatever it was to have a look at um, and obviously made a huge difference to my channel now I was sitting exactly in this spot a couple of weeks ago on a Saturday evening, minding my own business, having watched, you know, Soccer Saturday or whatever it was, and all of a sudden my email on my phone just started pinging away, ping, 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 ping. And so I picked up the phone and was looking down at it and it was saying things like um, comment on YouTube, comment on YouTube, subscriber on YouTube, etc. All that kind of stuff. I was just time and time again, again coming up on my, my email stream and I couldn't figure out what was going on. I thought it was a bug of some sort. I thought somebody was pranking me or doing something, you know, there'd been some issue somewhere. So 
I kind of read through a couple of the comments and they were all, you know, quite short, succinct ones. But there was a theme beginning to grow, which was like uh, Loki Doki's army or Loki Doki ultras, etc. was in quite a lot of the tweets. So I, I figured at that point that obviously Loki Doki had done something. But again, I thought maybe he's mentioned me in a tweet, just go and have a look at this channel or, or whatever. I, I couldn't figure out exactly what it was. It took me a long time to figure out that there was actually a video out there that he'd made and put onto his channel unbeknownst to me. And eventually I found the video and watched it and was absolutely blown away by the generosity of this guy who's in the same area of YouTube as I am. So in theory, could quite easily shut down and say, well, I'm not helping other people. I want to make myself successful. But could see that helping the community makes him successful and so spent his time making this video about you know highlighting my channel which was just so generous I, I'm I was absolutely blown away from it by it my tiny little mind could not cope with it and I went all complete like mush for a long time and all of a sudden my channel grew overnight from 38 subscribers to just over 2,000 we're currently two weeks on sitting at I think just under 2,300 subscribers. Uh, my channel grew from 1,000 views to currently sitting at 24,000 views in the last couple of weeks. That's grown. Uh, my, my channel went from 81 hours of viewed content by everybody that has viewed my stuff to now sitting just around 2,700 hours of viewed content, something like that. So you can see that Loki Doki had an absolutely massive impact on the on the growth of my channel and it's created something that I was completely taken aback by completely stunned by um, but gives me a foundation that I can now work from to continue hopefully to grow my YouTube channel and to continue the project that I started whatever the results were going to be just to fulfill something in me and to um, give me something to sink my teeth into the, the, the first year of being quiet was hard to do that, but I still maintained it. I still uploaded every day as much as I could. But this just gave me the shot in the arm that I needed to know that actually the thoughts that you have about can I earn some money from this? Can I find a way to help support uh, my family with this? Um, can I just fulfill something in me to get a community together uh, of like minded people that want to share in my content and you know, all of these things could now be a possibility. And it came from the fact that Loki Doki took his time out um, of his schedule and created something that highlighted my channel. But more than the views and the numbers, the, the biggest thing that he did was he lit a flame underneath me. He made me realize that some of these things are now possible, that actually because I've had a bit of good fortune, because he saw something in my stuff that he wanted to highlight, now it means that I've got a basis to grow from. I've got people now commenting on my videos and giving me feedback, sometimes quite <laughs> critical feedback, it must be said. You know, um, I hear you all, I've read every single comment. But the problem is, you see, is that once you start getting that kind of comment in about what you could do with your channel and how you should change it, is one person thinks one thing and then two minutes later somebody else comes along and they say the exact opposite. And still as a content creator, you have to figure out where it fits for you and what works for you and what content you're happy creating. So, I mean, this webcam is an offshoot from a lot of the comments saying that I needed one. I didn't particularly want one, if I'm honest. I don't feel comfortable at the moment doing this particular video, um, but I'll get better at it. But I didn't really want one, but I could see the need for it. So I am listening um, to whatever you say, but I can't implement everything that everybody suggests. I hope you understand that. But I do hear everything. But yeah, so Loki Doki, that's what he did for me. He grew my channel in terms of numbers, definitely, 100% overnight. It shot up and just uh, uh, blew my tiny mind. Um, but what he also did was just made me see the, the, the possibilities out there, the things that I could potentially achieve now that I've got a basis to move from. And for whatever reason, my channel wasn't being spotted and seen enough uh, to get that. And so I'm not sure how it would have grown other, other than so sort of incrementally, so minute changes over such a long time that maybe I'd have given up, who knows. But um, I don't have to worry about that so much now. What I do have to worry about now, of course, is keeping the people that have come across and creating content that continually still people want to watch. And that's the only thing that I can impact. Uh, what Loki Doki did for me 
was life changing for my channel, but also kind of life changing for myself as well, really, because it's just along with the criticisms and the critiques that I've had, I've had an awful lot of this is good content. I support you in it and I want to watch it. And the views demonstrate that. And that is so affirming and builds up my self-esteem an awful lot. And I'm really grateful for that. So, I mean, Loki Doki, I can never say thank you enough to you. Um, and to your army of ultras that have come across and impacted my channel. There's nothing I can say that's going to, you know, be as impactful as it was for me that Saturday watching all of this happen. That was absolutely mind blowing. But what I will say is I will say thank you. I really appreciate what you've done. Um, and all I can now assure you is that I will do absolutely everything I can to try and improve my content, to try and increase the, the, the sight lines on it, and to try and make a go of this thing that we both love to do. I'm really enjoying YouTube. I really enjoy the process. Um, and yeah, I just, you know, I, I can't thank you enough for what you did. It has completely changed the life of my channel and I will continue to try and make it better. Well, the simple answer is really anywhere, isn't it? All things are possible all of a sudden that there's a, a group of people wanting to watch this, the content I put out. There's a group of people wanting to help me improve the content that I put out, which is brilliant. Um, and so if we can band together and do this collectively, then we can go anywhere. We can be as big as the other guys that have, have reached the heights or, or potentially we can lose it all if my content dips, if I'm not as invested or, you know, um, whatever. There, there's, there's no telling where it's going to exactly go. But what I love now is that um, three, four weeks ago, I would have told you very openly, I don't think it's probably going to go anywhere. I think it's going to be a drifty thing that I enjoy doing and, you know, maybe it will peter off, but maybe I'll carry on doing it just because I enjoy it. But I didn't see that there was any particular end point or um, any goals that I could reach with it other than just enjoying doing the channel. Now it feels like if I can keep the content coming that people are interested in, anything's possible. I could potentially earn a little bit of money and help support um, my family. I could, um, you know, envisage a time where I've got uh, more more subscribers, more viewers than I've currently got and feel good about something that I've helped create and guided. Um, but that's down to the work that I now put into it and, and the support of the people that are watching. So my channel's going to go somewhere. In the next few days, I've got a new series starting. Um, called Relegation Rescue. It will be a, a bottom at Christmas challenge where you save the game at Christmas Day and then you take over whoever's bottom in the league you choose to play in and see if you can avoid that relegation with them. And we're going to be doing that in Germany and that's coming out tomorrow, I think, on my channel as, you, uh, as I release this video. So that's going to be a new series that people can hopefully get behind. Rolling in the Isles, my current series, my Journeyman Save, around the British Isles where we start at the very bottom with no experience and try and get all the way to one Champions League final. That's the end point of the series, one Champions League final. Doesn't matter who it's with, doesn't matter if I win or lose the actual final itself. If I get to a Champions League final, that will be the end point of the series. And that's what I'm building up to. And that's going to continue. There's loads of stuff to do with that still. I'm only on club two in, in the Welsh Premier League at the moment. And there's some distance to go to be able to get up to the point of getting to the Champions League properly. So that's going to continue. I've, you know, I've got a couple of ideas for experiment videos, potentially, if people are interested in them. But what I'm also going to ask is that if you've got ideas, keep sending them my way. Use the comments in the videos that you watch to, to comment and give me ideas. Join my Twitter feed at the United City FM on Twitter. If you've got a Twitter account, come over and join me there. It'll be really great to have a, a, a wider community there that we can sort of talk about some of these ideas and share some stuff. Um, but my channel now can go absolutely anywhere and that's really exciting. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be quite a ride over the next, you know, few months. Um, but the, the real hard work starts because now I've got something to lose. Before I didn't have anything to lose because it was small and insignificant in comparison to most channels around me. Now I've got a foundation and something which is beginning to build. And so therefore, potentially, it's there to lose if I don't put the work in. So I'm going to continue, as I say, putting the work in. And my channel can now go absolutely anywhere. And that is extraordinary. 
So here's the reason why I called my uh, channel the United City FM. Lots of people have asked me about it and some say is it because the um, the algorithms of YouTube might pick up United or City as keywords? Well, there's a small amount of that in there possibly. It was a thought, but it wasn't the, the reason. The, the thought was, am I a United or a City fan? Is that one of the reasons why? But if I, uh, and, and I am actually, I'm a Man United fan for my sins. I remember watching as um, the FA Cup final when I was eight against Brighton in 1983. And at the age of eight, just decided that the winner of the match is who I was going to support. And it turned out to be Man United. Could have been Brighton, but it wasn't. And that's how it is now. I'm a grown adult who's chosen that path and I couldn't change even if I wanted to or even if everybody else wanted me to. And, you know, I'm sure most of you would want me to, but it ain't going to happen, is it? Um, but it's not. that's not the reason why I chose the name either. The, the reason I chose the name is I wanted to be the United City football manager as part of my United City on YouTube. I wanted to create community. I wanted to gather people together around this um, game that we love, around this idea of the United F City Football Manager and grow a community around it and something that you as a viewer could be part of. Something if, you know, if you're visiting my channel and just having a look around, if you're a guest of the channel, then you're basically a tourist of the United City. If you subscribe to the channel, it makes you a resident of the United City. If ultimately in days in, in the future, if I set up Patreon and other bits and pieces, maybe we can set up the Council of United City and that might help guide the, 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 the content a little bit more um, when people connect to that. There's all sorts of things, but I really have this idea that I think we're a very divided community, not just, you know, in, in our country at the moment, having stepped out of um, the EU and other bits and pieces. I think as a world, we're, we're more and more divided than maybe we should be. Um, and I wanted to create my little corner of the world that was more united in something. And so I thought, you know, I'd base it around this particular game that we love and see whether people would come along with it. If you think that's cheesy or hokey or kooky or whatever word you want to use, okay that's fair enough it probably is i'm a little bit like that what can i say but i just like the idea of community so if you're interested in being part of this community please consider subscribing to the channel and, and getting involved and commenting and, and sharing the videos around and all that kind of good stuff and this will continue to grow if we all do that and i'm really excited about that possibility as i've said already um so yeah your part is to join in uh, be a part of it watch the videos, share the videos, comment on the videos, give me ideas, give me your thoughts and suggestions. Um, as I've said already, it doesn't mean I'll take all of them and use them all. It doesn't mean that I can use them all because most of them contradict many other people's views, but I listen to them all and I want to do something that we can try and gather around. So to me, it doesn't matter if you're a United fan or a City fan or a Liverpool fan or a Rovers fan or a, uh, you know, a town fan, it doesn't matter what that is. This is something different and we can gather behind the concept of community and being together based around the United City football manager, which is ultimately me. Um, and I will try and guide that and, and be a part of that and, and sort of lead that if you'll come with me. So that is ultimately why I chose to name the channel as I did, because I could see that the basics of trying to build a community would be helped by an ideal of having a United City that we could feel part of. Thanks for getting through all of my ramblings. I know it was a long, long video potentially to get through, but I hope it was interesting and informative about me, about my channel, about the growth of it, about where we're heading. Um, I'm really, really excited about what's to come. There'll be loads of opportunities. If you've got any questions that you want to ask me about anything that's come up or something that I didn't cover, etc., then please, please do ask me questions um, on Twitter or on comments on the videos. Just keep asking the questions. Eventually, I'll get round to answering them, even if it's not straight away. And maybe we'll do videos like, you know, Q&A videos or something at some point if there's lots of themes that come out of it. But I just want you to be part of where we are, uh, where we're heading as a channel. Um, and so, yeah, if you've got any suggestions or thoughts, do do put them in the comments and the, the feedback of videos or in my Twitter stream. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me. Thanks for coming along with the ride. Thanks for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. There's nothing that means that anybody has the right to expect anybody to do it. So the, the fact that you have and the fact that in the last few days I've 
continued to put out videos that have got a few hundred views on each of them it still just blows my mind at this stage oh I, I hope i'll never get used to it and i hope i'll always strive to make that bigger and better and uh, and make the channel grow so yeah thanks very much for joining me uh, that'll do it for this particular video uh, i hope to see you in one of my football manager episodes really really soon but until then take care of yourselves i'll see you very soon bye for now